Let's play ball. Use your head to hit the ball to Jemmy. Yay! Let's go play. Walk to the right to pop the bubble. Good job! Good job! Let's take some pictures with Jemmy. Pose for your picture in three, two, one. Cheese! You did it! Congratulations! You did it! Great job! In this tutorial series, we will be learning how to make an AR bubble game. In this video, we will be discussing the bubble game architecture and stages. Before we start creating our project inside the Intigem Creator software, it's important to plan out our stages and transitions. The AR bubble game consists of five main sections, and they are the ball tossing scene, which is this section, the person flying away inside a beach ball, which is this section, the person interacting with the bubble, which is this section, the picture taking scene, which is this section, and finally, the ending scene. Now, let's go through the stages and transitions so we can understand the architecture of this game. In the first stage, the user can hit the ball to start playing the game. If some time passes and the user does not hit the ball, then we transition them to stage 3, where the ball falls down. After some time, we can give the user another chance to hit the ball. But because only the very last stage can transition to stage 1, we need to make an exact copy of our stage 1 and put it as stage 2 and transition our player there. From there, whether our person hits the ball from stage 1 or from stage 2, they will be transitioned to stage 4 where the ball goes up. After some time, the ball will come down to Jemmy and after some time, Jemmy will toss the ball up. Then after some time, the ball comes down and becomes very large. This is the beginning of the scene where the person flies away inside the beach ball. In stage 8, the person stays and the ball takes the person inside of it. After some time, the person flies away into the sky and after some time, the person will appear in a new scene. These are the first two sections of the AR bubble game.